Hi, my name is Dr. Megan Robertson with Bridge Rights Physical Therapy, and today I have a nice workout that's good to do right after work if you would like to exercise but don't want to go for a run or actually even get particularly sweaty. Um, for today's workout, you'll just need a wall that's clear of anything, or you could even use a countertop or a desk um, if it's stable, and a foam roller. Have fun! Start near a wall and place your hands about shoulder width distance apart and go ahead and do some wall push-ups. So we're going to do two sets of 10 of these. In the first set of 10, I have my elbows going wide. Uh, in the second set of 10, I'll have my elbows going narrow, but you can do two sets of either kind or mix it up like I did. To make these harder, you can step your feet further away from the wall. Um, to make them easier, you can step closer to the wall. And we're on set two. I like to make sure that I'm breathing by inhaling, lowering, and exhaling, coming up. Nice work. Next, we're going to do an uh, exercise for the side butt muscles. So keep your hands on against the wall and lift your legs straight out to the side. So for this, you can, and I think in the next um, exercise I'll show you that you can do, go ahead and switch sides, so 10 on each side, um, that you can do these with your elbows bent to make it a little bit more challenging for the arms and the abdominal muscles. As you're doing these, try to keep your body stable using your core. Yeah, so my arms are bent. And then for this next one, I'm bending the knee and then kicking it back as if I'm kicking the wall behind me. And as I do this, I keep my belly button pulled toward my spine to help keep my body, my torso stable as I move my leg. Switch to the other side, 10 on this side as well. Keep breathing. Keep your body stale, stable. Great, now go ahead and grab your foam roller and meet me on the ground. So I'll show you how I like to get on the foam roller. I sit next to it and then lift my butt up and then I lay back down on it. I have a longer foam roller. That's the kind you'll probably need. You could also use your shorter one and place a pillow underneath your head or underneath your butt. Um, so first we're just gonna start off with breathing. So if this is super easy for you with your hands on the ground, go ahead and place your hands on your stomach and really connect with your core. So on your inhales, relax through your belly and on your exhales, pull, gently draw your belly button towards your spine. Inhale and relax. Exhale and draw your belly button in. And you might notice that even just your breath makes staying on the foam roller a little bit more challenging. All right, the next is an abdominal exercise. So we're kind of moving on with that. Um, and what I want you to do is on your exhales, pull your belly button towards your spine still, but this time also lift one knee towards your chest. Inhale, and then exhale, knee towards chest. Inhale down, exhale, lift your knee. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Good. So I'm demonstrating with my hands on the ground. Um, you can either do fingertips if you want to make it challenging, or you can have your palm flat on the ground. If these are really easy, then try it with your hands interlaced on your belly or lifted um, off the mat. Really nice. Um, go ahead and take a little bit of break. Take a couple more breaths. And then we'll do another set. Exhale, lift your knee, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift your knee, inhale, lower. This should feel really comfortable on your spine. You can do this exercise not on the foam roller if the foam roller isn't super comfortable for you. You can also lay a towel down underneath your back to make it a little bit softer. Great, next one is gonna be a little bit of a massage for the muscles in the back. So you take your hands and kind of scissor them overhead. 
And as you do this, um, you should feel the muscles that are on your back engage along the foam roller and it should feel really nice. Move at a comfortable pace, keep breathing. Great, now reach both your hands up towards the ceiling and then reach one arm and then reach the other arm and then reach the other arm. Great, and keep repeating. We'll do about 10 of each of these different kind of movements that I'm showing you. And for these ones too, you should feel those muscles engage along your back and then relax down over the foam roller. Great. Now we're going to do some snow angels. And you can see I'm trying not to bump the, um, the stand for the camera, but you can make your snow angels as big as you want, as big as are comfortable. Um, and for these, so my shoulders are quite open, so you can see that my arms are going close to the ground. But for a lot of you that might not be comfortable, um, wherever they are is, is totally fine. They can be like a foot off the ground if, if you want. The next we're just doing a stretch for the pec muscles. Those are the muscles across the chest. Um, so I have my arms in a goalpost position and my elbows are just resting on the ground. If your forearms aren't parallel to the ground, then grab pillows and place them underneath your elbows. It feels so good. And in that position, your body will be able to fully relax and you'll actually get a better stretch of the pecs even though you're not as deeply in it. Keep breathing. So the pillows variation is two pillows underneath the forearms. Great, and then come off it. It's never really super graceful. I did an okay job in the video, but um, be gentle with your body. All right, next you're gonna um, have the foam roller the other direction, so like perpendicular to your spine. And we're gonna do um, some mobilizations of the spine so you can see in the video, I found a tight spot in my back and I'm leaning back over the foam roller. You can also roll the foam roller along your back like I'm showing now. And for these, I have my knees bent so that my feet can kind of propel me in either direction. Nice. Then I'm going to put the foam roller on my neck and gently shake my head no. And as you do this, you should feel a nice massage to the back of the neck muscles. I have my hands on my belly to remember to breathe. Good, and then you can turn your head to one side, and from there, take nice deep breaths. Visualize that your breaths are helping your neck muscles relax even more. And after about five breaths, we'll turn our head to the other side. Go ahead and turn it now. And there, same thing. Imagine your breaths are helping relax your neck muscles. Great, one last strengthening thing. So take the foam roller again and slide it underneath of your feet. And then from here, we're going to do some bridges. So um, keep your spine stable and lift your hips up towards the ceiling. And I'm going to do um, repeated motion. You could also hold it up high if you want. So um, for these, I like to exhale, lift my hips up, inhale, lower, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. We're going to do 10 like that or five like that. And then roll the foam roller a little bit further away and do another set of five in that position. Um, with your feet further away, you'll feel it more on your hamstrings or the backs of your legs versus closer, you'll feel it more in your glutes or your butt. Great, and if you had fun with that, go ahead and do another set, but that's it for me today. Thanks for joining me.